This is another uh, video on me doing the 91 Mustang Phoenix project. So when I got the car uh, into my current location, I started looking into it and whenever I got the seats and carpet out, I noticed there's some rust in the floorboard. Now that's pretty common on these Fox bodies. So uh, I looked at it and I determined that it wasn't really worth cutting all the floorboards out and replacing them with new ones. So I'm just going to show how I come in and repair it. So you see on this picture, this is part of the uh, um, floorboard on the driver's side uh, behind the driver's seat. Then come into the passenger side uh, floorboard over there and then uh, behind a passenger seat. So the other thing you'll notice is all the sound deadening material has already been uh, just uh, deteriorated and flaked off this so I'm going to use the lizard skin sound deadener to, once I get everything done to kind of go over the top of this and get some sound deadening back to it. So I've uh, got it cleaned up, vacuumed up, wire wheeled and uh, ready to do the navel jelly um, rust dissolver. I'm going to put this on there to get the rust off then uh, clean it up real good and come down with the uh, Van Sickle rust inhibitor primer and once that's secured up, I'll come down with the, uh, just a, I got a satin block from Project Jim, and I'll put that on there as well to seal it up real good. It'll solve this issue. Okay, I've got uh, this ground down, navel jelly, wire wheeled, and um, it's prepared for the filler I'm going to put on it. Uh, I want to show one of the techniques I use to find some of these metal holes. Uh, like that right there is I took my light and put it up underneath and you can see uh, I got them taped off now but um, you, you can see the light coming up through there so I can go through and I ground all those down to bare metal with a grinder wheel and uh, what I did I got up underneath and I cleaned it up real good and then I've taped it off so whenever I come over and do my filler put my light back over here probably too much light for the camera but whatever um, whenever I come back with my filler uh, it'll be a good smooth surface on the bottom side then I can jack the car up real good clean everything off and repaint that area so it looks uh, nice and clean it'll be good and smooth so what I'm using on this is the uh, I call it kitty hair that green stuff with the fiber filler in it and uh, this is actually a, a good structural piece it'll seal up it'll seal out the water Bondo won't do that Bondo is gonna it was just not the right thing to use uh, for a structural repair so like I said it's gonna add some strength to it and it will uh, it will be waterproof like what it says right there uh, and that'll make it pretty nice once I'm done that's also what I'm going to use on the roof for the um, all the hell damages in the roof. Uh, these roofs are come up here. They are. Uh, I mean, that's nothing wrong with a roof. That's what it's made. There just isn't a lot of structure in there. So once I come over and do a coat of this on the roof, it'll uh, should help stiffen that up a little bit and keep that from happening. And it won't pop out uh, like Bondo would if I put the Bondo up there. And I'm sure you'd get away with Bondo on something like that. But I'd rather just use the, the kitty hair on this and be done with it. Make sure it's done right and add a little bit of stiffness to that. Alright, I'm working on the passenger floorboard up front of the seat here. And uh, I'm getting some of the rust that's coming in there, out of there. And I noticed right where this seam is, right here the seam seal was coming up and peeling up and you see the hole where the metal has just uh, rotted out got a couple holes in here so I just went back and cut the seam seal out uh, wire wheel it out basically uh, back to there where it looked good and clean and I'll come in with the seam, seam sealer and re-seam seam seal that once I get all the rust under control um, and then I'll use that fiberglass epoxy just tape the back and get my elbow get my elbows steady there um, tape the back of that and uh, fiberglass fill that that's that's a fairly large area there so I want to make sure I get it good and thick over that area might have to do a couple coats and then I'll come in and get all this primed and 
lizard skin because all the sound in there is just kind of broken up and honestly that lizard skin's going to do better than the factory stuff anyway. So it'll be pretty sweet once I get done with it. So I've opened up my lizard skin. Um, it's been about a year since I opened this stuff up. Get a picture of exactly what I'm talking about here. The sound control lizard skin. I used this on Project Jim uh, about a year ago, and that's about how much I used uh, doing two coats on the car. So you can spread this out uh, and get quite a bit out of it. And I did uh, basically the floorboards, almost all the floorboards, quarter panels, uh, the hatch area, um, and all that on Jim. So, um, looks like it's in decent condition. I just need to stir it up a little bit. Had just a little bit of dried up skim on the top of it after it's setting for a year. So, uh, got lucky on that. It's And it's part of it's just keeping it uh, good and sealed up and in good climate control and it'll last a little bit longer. So I'm about to get this stirred up and see what I get and uh, get prepared to put this on Project Phoenix. Alright, looks like I don't quite have enough light, but uh, we can look at, uh, I've primed this and lizard skinned it. I just brushed the lizard skin on. Um, so it, I'm happy with it. It's good and thick. Um, I could probably do one more coat, but uh, that's more for spraying on and... Um, you got more control over how thick the layers are and what I don't want to do is just cake this stuff on uh, but I think that's a pretty decent layer that I got on there uh, it'll be equivalent if not the same as this uh, the factory stuff that we have here so I'm about to come through and clean it up and just put a coat of paint on there just to give it a little extra protection to the lizard skin and I don't know if we can see this side and open that side of the door but I got those in I'm waiting on my plugs to come in too. Uh, I think they'll be here next week, so I'll get the plugs in, the carpet in. Uh, meanwhile, I can be working on this and fabbing up a little piece to mount these uh, SN95 rear seats. I already got the uprights in, but the uh, bottom seat bottoms, it actually has a little connector pin that goes in here, and uh, there's metal in the SN95 cars, and this car don't have that, so I'll need to fab some some stuff up so it just holds the seat down and I may have to change the seat belts out because they come through at a different location and I don't know if I'm going to have enough length with the Fox body seat belts there so I'll be working on that as well get some interior stuff painted up and start putting this together and after I get some paint on I can go ahead and untape the dash and start working on that portion alright I started a uh, spring the satin black on there just to get a good coat and uh, stop because that that overspray actually I had that door open but uh, I just started getting that overspray cloud developing and uh, I didn't want it all over the seats and glass and quarters and then dash that I've already painted so this is a case in point of where brushing your paint on or rolling your paint on uh, is a perfect place to do that it's on the floorboard it's not going to be you know apparent it just needs to be protected um, now if I had everything out of this car all the cords out all the glass out or taped off dash out then spraying everything on would, would be a very good option um, but right now that's that's not the best option to go with so that's what I'm going to do come back and I got the satin black I used on Jim I got some of that left over and I'll just put a good coat over uh, over this and it'll be sealed up and ready to go Alright, I got all the uh, paint dried up on the floor here, and I'm actually putting the carpet in. I, I couldn't remember if I did video of this or not. So, uh, the lizard skin's brushed on. Actually, the primer's brushed on. Lizard skin's brushed on. The um, satin black paint is brushed on. All You know, that's all the oil-based rust inhibitor stuff, the Van Sickle paint. I'm working on getting the SN95 carpet in here that'll match the seats. 